Alrighty, so we have three fifths plus one tenth in parentheses times one half plus three quarters in parentheses. We need to follow the order of operations PEMDAS. That's parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, or subtract. So we start with parentheses, then we do exponents, then we multiply or divide, then we add or subtract, right? So in other words, if you look at something like this, we want to do inside the parentheses first, and after that we'll have a fraction times a fraction, we just multiply them, right? So the first step is to add three-fifths plus a tenth, and then we'll add a half plus three-quarters, right? So to add three-fifths plus a tenth, we want to find a common denominator between five and ten, or a common multiple. So the trick is, let's multiply by, and, and you might think, well, 5 goes into 10, doesn't it? So on this guy, we can just multiply him by, two. right. So multiply this guy by 2 over 2, because that'll give tenths, right? 5 times 2 is 10. So this will give us 6 tenths plus one tenth. That makes sense? I'm just going to go ahead and add that together. And that gives me seven tenths. Right, so this first parenthesis just turns into seven tenths. Does that make sense? Is that okay? Now you can put parentheses around this if you want to. It doesn't really matter. So now we'll work on this other one, and the goal is to just turn it into one fraction. We're just going to add these guys together so we get one fraction, right? So we need a common multiple for 2 and 4. Uh, we'd say, well, 2 goes into 4, doesn't it? So you kind of think, well, 2 times what gives 4, right? That's the trick there. So 2 times 2 gives 4, right? So multiply this guy by 2 over 2. And we have 1 times 2 is 2 over 4 plus 3 over 4. So this whole thing should be 2 plus 3, 5 over 4. Now, any questions on that? So the one on the left became 7 tenths, the one on the right became 5 quarters. You okay with that? Yeah. So thinking about order of operations, we did our parentheses, there's no exponents, the next thing is to multi or multiply or divide from left to right. We only have one more operation to go, it's just multiplication. But before you write that 35 over 40, I want you all to cross-cancel common factors to make it easier. So find the common factors in here and cross-cancel them. You can cross-cancel any factor on the top with the bottom doesn't have to be in the same fraction. It could be a number here, a number here, a number here, a number here. Right? Just you have to cross-cancel bottom numbers with top numbers. So can we find factors to cross-cancel there? Five and ten. All right. Five and five goes once. Five and ten goes twice. Lovely. Anything else? Why can't we cross cancel two with four? Is they're both on the bottom, right? So seven times one, seven over two times four, eight. Any questions on that?
No. All right.